Good morning Reefers, I'm Daniel and today we're doing a quick video on the new JBO DCP 10,000. It's an updated version of their DCT pump. This one is better quality built pump. It has quieter operation, longer pump life, just all around. It's a stronger pump, it uses less amperage, less electricity, so it's worth checking out. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you. Let's see what's inside this thing. So right away you can see the new controller. I like this one a lot. Instead of using Velcro, it actually has mounting sides for it for the screws. The Velcro is great, but over time it always falls off. So being able to mount this and lift it up is pretty cool. So that's an awesome feature. Comes with all your fittings in case people are still using flex hose and they want to slide it on. I always tend to hard plumb everything if you can. There's your cord. Nice long cord. And look how small this pump is for how powerful it is. You can see the size of the threads and the bulkhead on this thing are just ginormous compared to how small the body of the pump actually is. So this thing's pretty ridiculous. And the nice thing about it is if it's still like the old one, the bottom plate slides off. And then if you ever have a problem with one of the propellers, let me see if I'm correct with this. It twists off and you can actually, so if this is plumbed in, you can actually pull off the back of your pump and change the motor while still having this housing in place. So that's a really cool feature. And I like that a lot. So, and it has an upgraded bearing, ceramic shaft for longer use and less wear. So very cool. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. And there you can see. This pump also has a run dry protection. If the pump, you run out of water, your auto top off doesn't work, this pump will actually shut off to prevent it from burning up. So I have tested that. It does work. It's an awesome feature. And it's definitely worth having on a pump. And for this price, you can't beat it. So this is also the transformer, which I'll show you. So you just have to plug this in. And then this goes into the bottom of the controller for the power for your pump. So it is kind of nice that they do give you some distance from the power supply to the controller. So you have a choice where you want to mount this thing. So very cool. All in all, it looks like a really quality pump and takes up a small footprint in your tank. So that's pretty awesome. And just to give you a closer look at the new controller. Sine wave technology, DCP 10,000. After we put this thing to use, we'll do another review just to let you guys know. But this pump is available on our website, so if you're interested in upgrading, please feel free to contact me, and as always, happy reefing. Oh. And by the way, they give you one of these too, which are amazing. I always point it downward. I put an elbow on just to get every bit of water out of my tank. Since I have a pre-filter screen before my pump, I don't really need this. But for most people, this will come in handy. Just a quick tip, if you have this in your tank, sometimes the water level gets close to here, it will create an air cyclone and a loud suction noise. So that's why I take this off and don't use it. But I recommend it for most people, if you don't have the correct setup, definitely use this as your pre-filter so you don't suck up any grass. So, all right, I think this time, that's everything. Just the instructions. So, sorry for making this video super, super quick, but I will do the review once I actually put the pump in operation. I just wanted people to know that we do have these for sale. Um, if you're thinking about upgrading your pump, I will hook you up with some free coral with your pump 
that way you don't have to buy these pumps online or anywhere else. So, and you can feel safe buying from us. Thank you so much. As always, happy reefing. Until next time, please leave your comments or questions below. 